Okay, today we're going to talk about the power which is used up or dissipated within a circuit. And to do that, we're first going to take a look at Ohm's law in order to understand exactly what's happening in this particular circuit. Here we have a 1.5 volt battery, which has been hooked up to a 6 ohm light bulb. And by applying Ohm's law to the situation, we can see that there's going to be 0.25 amps of current flowing through this circuit. Now realize all that's really happening here is this battery is giving the bulb some energy. And we can see that here by understanding exactly what each of these different values are. Remember, voltage is a joule per coulomb. And current, which we measure in amps, can actually be referred to as coulombs per second. So in actuality, what's happening here is the battery is providing the charge with some energy and the charges are then giving that energy or using that energy up in the light bulb, causing the light bulb to both heat up and give off light. So to figure out just how much power this light bulb is using, what we really need to do is take a look at voltage and current for what they really are. That is joules per coulomb and coulombs per second. And in looking at the units, you can see that if we multiply these two together, we're left with joules per second, which is what we refer to as a watt, or the units of power. So really through just a little bit of unit analysis here, we can see that the electrical power used up by this light bulb is really just the voltage across the light bulb multiplied by the current through the bulb. And since power is VI, since the current through the bulb is 0.25 amps, and the voltage across this light bulb is 1.5 volts, we get the power drawn by this bulb is 0.375 watts. Now it's important to point out that the power supplied by the battery is always going to be equal to the total power drawn by all of the resistors combined. And that is to say, if this light bulb is going to draw 0.375 watts of power, then the battery is going to have to supply that much power. And if we were to add a second light bulb to the system, then the total power supplied by the battery is going to have to be equal to the total power drawn by both of these light bulbs combined. So remember, power is simply voltage multiplied by current. We can see where that comes from in the unit analysis here. And on that note, that's all for now.